so that everything will happen without any hiccups. All right, so we are live. Whenever you're ready, you can start. Um, so hel hello everyone, uh, my name is uh, Mina Norvik, uh, uh, I work at the University of uh, Tartu uh, in Estonia as a, a researcher of the Finnic languages and at the moment I'm also doing my postdoc uh, uh, in Sweden uh, at the uh, Uppsala University and uh, I am uh, really Happy that I have this chance to uh, introduce you uh, to Livonian, uh, uh, which is um, a Finnic language. So it's uh, close to my native language, uh, which is Estonian. But at the same time, it's an, uh, uh, spoken in Latvia. So it's a very nice uh, meeting uh, point uh, of uh, two uh, language families. And, um, and uh, to say a bit, uh, more about also myself. So uh, I have uh, defended the PhD uh, at the University of Tartu, and I was uh, exactly taking a, a closer look uh, into Livonian, and I was particularly interested uh, um, like in a uh, grammar or how uh, uh, the future time reference is uh, um, uh, expressed. And um, what are we going to do uh, today is that uh, I thought really that uh, uh, as you are all um, here students or um, or then team leaders or <laughs> or um, maybe even some jury members uh, who are listening although I think they are uh, marking but at least that uh, uh, those who are interested also in this grammar so we are definitely that I hope that after this uh, uh, lecture you will also uh, know how to say something in Livonian or know something about its um, uh, structure. Um, so, uh, and, um, and here, and I also, uh, uh, via this language, of course, uh, I say something about Livonians or uh, where they have lived. And actually, uh, we uh, uh, heard something about uh, uh, both the language, actually, and uh, also this uh, where they have uh, lived. Uh, already when we had opening ceremony. So I think it's uh, in that sense, a nice follow up. And uh, I uh, think that uh, some of these words you will also uh, recognize. So, uh, so let's see, uh, but um, uh, let's move to the uh, next slide. So here, I think this, uh, how to say hello. So this word you heard, Terinch, uh, I remember in the, lecture that was given uh, in the first day and uh, we also uh, heard how to say as uh, you are also in uh, different parts of the world so how to say good morning or good day or good evening whatever the uh, time at the moment is so jõva uomag, jõva päeva, jõva and uh, just to give you an idea maybe how uh, would you say to a Livonian so I have here uh, a picture from the 1930s uh, uh, at, that Livonians in their national costume and this is so-called national house or community house uh, on the Livonian coast uh, in Latvia uh, um, in Nira or Masirbe, uh, so uh, Rovkuada. Um, and uh, so I, I already briefly mentioned but just to uh, so that it would be uh, clear uh, to all of you, and also uh, just uh, to say something about the Uralic language family. So, uh, uh, 
the Livonian belongs to the Finnic branch together with the uh, um, Estonian. So more or less, I am I am at the moment located here, where is this 2H uh, situated? Then Finnish and some uh, smaller languages uh, here spoken in uh, Russia, like Peps or Kar Karelian uh, or Votic. So these are the closest languages. And so I think also today for those like who are listening, if uh, Estonians or uh, uh, Finns, uh, uh, then for them, I think they recognize a lot uh, just by being or by speaking uh, Estonian or Finnish. Uh, so that as these are really close languages. And um, so here the arrow at the moment just represents that this is uh, where it is in this branch, but uh, in a way, it may be a little bit also represents uh, the root to this, uh, so that this um, uh, Finno Greek homeland or where this uh, language family started is often placed somewhere. Uh, let's say here are the Ural Mountains, and somewhere, somewhere here, one or the other side of the Ural Mountains. And uh, so that this has uh, really uh, meant like this uh, 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 movements to the uh, west. Uh, so that how this uh, Finnic languages or Sami languages reach the, uh, these places where they are uh, spoken. So, and uh, this is uh, at the moment still this um, latest um, uh, these uh, results uh, still show that uh, this has happened about uh, um, uh, two thousand eight hundred or three thousand two hundred years ago. So that when this uh, Proto Finnic, or which was like the ancestor for the Finnic languages when it started to develop, uh, develop. But Livonian as a separate language is thought to that it diverged from this, uh, uh, like maybe uh, 1600, 1800 years ago. So, uh, based on this uh, different uh, linguistic uh, like uh, comparisons. So, this is uh, how much, and actually. And of course, that uh, this Baltic um, people or Baltic language has uh, uh, there been that this context, uh, or even it is said that on the route uh, towards this uh, this Baltic Sea that we have had already contacts with the uh, uh, Baltic speakers, so Finnic Baltic speakers, that this kind of uh, living side by side is actually very old, and also the loans, even loan words, or uh, in these languages are really old, as these contacts are really long. So just for this, and yeah, just to uh, remember that Latvian is uh, like a, representing here a different language fami uh, family. But in that sense, it's uh, I, for me as a researcher, also as a lecturer, I think it's very interesting just because that you see like how what happens uh, when these languages meet or when they are um, like spoken next to each other. Um, and here, so again, something uh, to uh, uh, remember. So. Uh, as this uh, uh, at the moment, Ventspils uh, is uh, organizing all this event, and actually, this is uh, you saw uh, this map, and also there was uh, this about uh, Kurzeme or this uh, uh, already uh, during the opening ceremony, and, and indeed, so this uh, Livonian coast is uh, really close to Ventspils, and. Uh, um, here is actually this map is in Livonian, so that you can see here the names of these Livonian villages, uh, or maybe if it, it is too small, I will anyways read it. But uh, just that this, uh, what are these uh, uh, villages that when we speak about this Livonian, we tend to associate it with this uh, uh, like 12 Livonian villages. So uh, Luus, Pisa, Ira, Uuskila, Siikrek, uh, Ire, Kostrek. Pitrek, Sänak, Vaid, Kualka, Mäkkila, uh, Mustanum. And uh, actually, these names, so even, so if at the moment also Latvians are listening, so maybe um, just that, the, uh, and have been there, so that we know also that the, these names, they have their, uh, these are the Livonian names, but also sometimes uh, in the Latvian version is uh, not close at all. For example, here, Ira is uh, actually in, in Latvian Masirbe. So maybe even for Latvians, it's just uh, interesting to know if you uh, haven't heard or don't know that uh, at what they are called in Livonian. And uh, what else? So this uh, we already know from the uh, quiz also that uh, this uh, uh, event space is situated by the Baltic Sea. So just to also um, 
uh, uh, how they are called. So in, this, uh, in Livonian, this C is a uh, mer, uh, and uh, this is like a big C, and the Gulf of Riga, so like, and this is called in Livonian Piskimer. So here it's uh, this Piskimer or small C. So this is how Livonians themselves call these places. And uh, here I also added how to say in Livonian uh, this name. So Latvia is Letmo, uh, Ventspils is Vanta, and Kurland is uh, Kuramo. Um, so just that uh, how they would uh, say it. And um, uh, at the moment I was uh, telling you about these uh, villages here, because uh, why we often speak about these villages is exactly that this is. Uh, um, that if you uh, look at this map, so this uh, light green uh, represents the area where the, the Livonians were much uh, lived or lived in a much wider area in the th uh, uh, th 13th century, but uh, already in the 19th century actually. So this there were still like Livonians even here, so in uh, Salatsa Livonia and in Kurland, so in Salatsa and Kurland. And, uh, and actually this, this Livonian area, sorry, if you see there is actually this purple is Estonian border. So this is really uh, something even much more uh, close to uh, Estonian or this language sounds uh, much more closer. And I can say that I wrote my master thesis about uh, Salatsa Livonian. And I remember when, when uh, it was really that um, uh, something uh, so interesting uh, to see that, uh, that uh, or even to research just that uh, in terms of how close it is, that of course, this uh, Kurland Livonian and Salatsa Livonian, which are like, let's say that uh, dialects in, the, in that sense, they are still Livonian, but still this uh, Salatsa Livonian is even much more closer to Estonian than this Kurland Livonian. Uh, and, uh, and also today, this lecture or these examples, they are all from Kurland Livonian, and uh, just that this in Salatsa Livonian, they would sound a bit differently. But why this uh, um, area started to dim diminish is, of course, that, for example, as we uh, also heard on uh, uh, in this uh, during on Monday, so that uh, uh, Riga was established and actually it is very much in the center of this, um, where also Livonians lived. So there are several reasons for that, uh, historical reasons also. But uh, but yeah, see, this is this is something, and I have here also some figures. So to say that here we see. Uh, then how to say first that uh, Isamo, so fatherland, and uh, Yemakel, mother tongue. So just again, before going to the figures, to learn some two new words, or Isa, Yema, and Mo, Kel, so language and land. Um, and yes, here you see some of these figures. And uh, one thing that is said about the uh, Livonians, or it has actually never in the history been a big mm, nation. If you, uh, or of course, these are all estimates. We can never be sure in all those uh, figures. So this is just something that uh, uh, researchers more or less agree on. And this first figure is even <laughs> differs quite a lot, or varies quite a lot. But just that, uh, just to think about it, that it has never been uh, like a big nation. And we can see that, um, so that in the 1860s, so there were in this Kurland Livonian uh, uh, something even like more than 2,000 spe speakers, or um, and uh, in Salatsa Livonian, then uh, that actually the last Salatsa Livonian speaker, so Salatsa Livonian was uh, spoken here, uh, so uh, died already in the 19th century. So actually, and why it's uh, from this period, so there was a uh, Finnish uh, scientist uh, Anders Johan Sjögren, who went to uh, uh, collect the language data and document it. So uh, she was, or he was actually this, uh, who uh, put like the first, let's say the full sentences or what you like quite, no, not very comprehensive, but there is data that you have uh, sentences. So only from uh, this time. So uh, before that period, there is something, but uh, but not, not much text left. So actually the only one who went there, collected, uh, met people. So that's how we know about this language. But Kurland uh, Livonian uh, is uh, then uh, spoken, uh, even you can hear it, of course, today. But, 
But uh, what else so has, uh, why there are actually, why we come if we see this last figure that this kind of uh, first language speakers, so that who would have learned it as uh, from, well, let's say, mother tongue, th this is something really low, is that, uh, that um, uh, this uh, two world wars have played a huge role here, or because um, uh, uh, then two times, in a way, Livonians were also uh, sent out from their territories. And of course, if you, or just you move, not totally sent out, but just that it, it was uh, this um, uh, Soviet border and you couldn't uh, do or your, what you used to do, this uh, living like fishing, or you had to move to the inland. And, and if you just to look for other jobs and, uh, and so that uh, if you already uh, go away, then not very many people return. But, uh, but still, so, so this has, this world ha wars have played a role here, why we see this picture, what is at the moment. But at the same time, what we can still see is that, um, so, and what maybe means this 30 others, so, so that these are those who have really cherished their uh, Livonian ancestry, or also uh, they count also other, this, like even uh, this um, who, teach this language or uh, have learned it as a second language or they don't speak it as a everyday language or don't maybe speak it to their children but they can say something or and again so i think we can never know the like actual final figure even um, now and then we can hear someone still uh, saying that yes uh, uh, like uh, or showing this uh, livonian roots and uh, if you look at Latvian census, so for example, in uh, uh, 2011, 250 people uh, said that they are Livonians, but why I also wrote it in italic. So here, this doesn't really uh, speak about, it speaks about uh, how, uh, this uh, like heritage that you feel that you have Livonian roots, but this doesn't necessarily speak about your uh, uh, language, uh, that knowledge of language but still that it says something that it, you value it if you are ready to claim that you are Livonian. So that, that it doesn't always mean in the case of Livonian that uh, this uh, language and, uh, and also your background would totally, uh, or your knowledge of the language would be exactly the same. So, and, uh, and uh, yeah, this is the uh, current situation, but I will speak about uh, this current situation also um, more at the uh, end of the lecture, but uh, now, but uh, yes, so I already told you that uh, this um, uh, Livonians have been this coastal people and actually this coast or it's how they also call themselves. So this is like Livli uh, Randali, Livukel Randakel. So this is uh, Randa in this, it means coast. And you see that they have called themselves coastal. Uh, people because they have really inhabited uh, the coast. So, and just again, one picture to show that this is was much about this uh, fishing or where the living came, especially for the men. Um, and also actually you have, um, I remember there was also a Livonian flag and it was also in my first picture. So, and now if I tell you that uh, this flag is also connected to sea and um, and also fishermen and so before I tell you what it uh, means, so you could just for a moment think what do these uh, colors uh, represent? And uh, uh, this uh, uh, in this language, so plaga flag, you maybe uh, see something here. So leave a plaga. Uh, so. Um, but let's reveal the answer. So this is uh, uh, thought to be so that if the fisherman is at the sea and looking towards the coast, so this is what uh, the fisherman sees. There is a, a green forest, Olas Mutsa. There is white coast or coastline, Val Taranda. And there is the blue sea, Sinni Mer. And uh, maybe I haven't actually taken any pictures from there. And I think this is something maybe next time I go there, I should do that. But at the moment, I only have a picture where uh, from the coast. So, but still uh, you can see this uh, sea is here and it's really wide, nice uh, coastline and uh, the green forest that's right away here. So this is how the fisherman also sees it. 
And finally, maybe now I have been here uh, uh, telling you this or pronouncing this, and of course, but I am doing with my Estonian accent. So, and uh, but let's also now listen how Livonian would, how does Livonian sound, or and uh, then you can also judge my pronunciation. But um, but first, I wanted to show that uh, before. Uh, so there is one story, and we are dealing or working with this story today in this uh, lecture, but uh, maybe something you can already um, understand, because so we just had Sinnist, Niebet. So Sinni was blue, and here is a new word for you, so a cow. So Kualka was this place, uh, uh, this uh, uh, very much on this... Um, uh, peak or this um, uh, uh, where you have this Latvian like horn or uh, and then we had Randa so coast or we had Mutsa Olyas Mutsa was this uh, uh, green uh, color uh, so it's uh, uh, then um, forest so we had Mir uh, and it's uh, just written a bit differently so again that uh, um, but just it means so uh, this uh, sea uh, then uh, sur, we had sur, mer, so it's a uh, beat. Uh, then we have again, few times mer, we have niem. Uh, so we had this greeting, jöva uh, uomag, so good morning. So something about morning is here. Then we had greeting jöva päeva, so good day. So there is päeva, uh, day. Uh, then we had uh, this costume, uh, national costume. So there is rov, it's like an people or... Uh, then, uh, yeah, and these are just, and ja is and. So something about the uh, coast, about the uh, forest, about sea, about uh, uh, morning, about day and people. And this is something so, but we will know more. But let's now just listen. It's, it starts a bit later. There is a bit there uh, because the person who is asking just asks about what happened to this blue cows or how did did they came to be? And then it starts. It just doesn't start maybe the first few seconds. And now it starts. Sinjest niemad vanast vanna am niggaks jätse ežmest kolka boika Madranda vai vand pagin twistim ap ku paldin sizvel abo vand palli de yug kunkidi mes paldin katabad amrand kusmidegast ap kaza sis knashet nitet ya sangdat liet pu mutsat tadat vojeri perni tomedi Kazand mernaigas sonja ja puu oksad tulse likkas rabband vasta lainidi. Puud vannad nei suurt, kui iitsta ainagest tõvusta, um saadat looja. Puud alla kazand piemda sangda rõu ja mirjema saatan Mierneitsede kaitsem rand enč niemede. Uomagad varald ja päevasidam aigal, kur rausti ebo vand randas. Siis mierneitsed tunnad niemadaks maa päele. Ulz ja ne niemad vannad sinjest, kui mier veis. So this was... Now you heard it, and now let's uh, look a bit at this uh, pronunciation. So uh, again, it's nice to compare to Latvian uh, from Monday's lecture. So again, that in Livonian, all this uh, here, it marks uh, length, this macron. And then there is also the, this kind of palatalization or this softening. So we have heard this, um, and maybe something that is more that uh, there in Livonian you also can, I think maybe you also heard it, that you can also say this uh, uh, So just it's hard to make uh, as without context. And something maybe you have also noticed, um, I didn't want to turn your attention right away to this, but uh, 
there are two ways. So actually, some things are not marked in orthography. So this that you don't see this. Uh, so you see only this O, but you don't see this. So this is just the way to mark that there is also a lower O, but these are not separated in orthography orthography and as I have this text that we just listened it comes from like it's more in uh, orthography so you didn't also uh, see this mark that I will tell you a bit later so this is a bit uh, like a stirred or broken tone but uh, these are not uh, marked in orthography so that's why also that at the moment maybe uh, this some examples just vary uh, in this uh, during uh, this presentation because uh, this uh, uh, they come from different places so I have some uh, text examples and something maybe what I was thinking about if uh, uh, for uh, fin if uh, like a Finnish or Estonian speaker is uh, thinking so what is missing from the vowels so that for example from Livonian we don't find ö or ü uh, sounds because they have changed and again as you are uh, here dealing with linguistics so I think it's very nice to see that they have cha changed into something that is very close to so it's ü to e and ö to e and uh, if uh, to look at the 19th century text and even in the beginning of 20th century, you could still find something like Puva, and, uh, but now for the holy or, or it's also like um, holidays or um, uh, so this we all only can see Piva. So this is uh, what has uh, changed uh, now and what text can re reveal about. And um, uh, and something I just added this graph, but I don't want to say anything more about it. But just that there is two types of us actually in uh, this kind of uh, in uh, Livonia, which is um, unrounded something. Um, let's say this uh, middle vowel, but this is um, compared in also in Estonia we have ö, but uh, in Estonia it is more like more like in the middle. But in Livonia there is like a higher ö, and there is also another one which is lower boys uh, and it just uh, happens uh, or it is pronounced with some uh, letters only so after p and m so and it's much lower and you can see that it's uh, very close to o actually it just it just shows more or less where they are pronounced but maybe this is something uh, about uh, livonian what is also different from these close cognate languages and uh, what else about the uh, pronunciation so um, may, we can uh, see that there is this kind of regular alternation of strong and weak syllables that sometimes this uh, uh, and this way this um, words can be quite different or although they have this uh, same meaning and that's why also I have been coloring for you at the moment also this uh, so that if I color and it doesn't remind you at all this uh, something that you had already heard during the presentation so sometimes it is just that it's in a different form and just that for example lol is this kind of strong form and here it is lolod and un unud so and this is this kind of regular regular alternation and uh, i thought that might be also interesting that is that and i think uh, you might have heard also in this uh, text that there are not only diphthongs like gerd pm uh, there are also triftongs so tuai luima and here uh, so you see that this first part can be long as well. So here, I, actually, you have like loima. And maybe for me, when I first maybe listened to Livonian, then it somehow sounded like long or this. Uh, I think this was my impression when I first heard it. And again, so something uh, maybe uh, what uh, is uh, different from the other, like in or cognate languages, so that we can uh, find also tones there. So there is this uh, plain tone or uh, or it's a bit like just mm, maybe a bit going up still. So this kind of, and here I have again one sound. So it's very short, but we can play it. Uh, let me play. Ma, ma. So it's going maybe a bit up. Uh, and then there is also yod. So a bit, it's just maybe rising a bit. But then this kind of stirred or broken tone. And again, it's a very, uh, very... Um, uh, this uh, short word, but I will have a bit longer word as well. So, but often this, what is this third or broken tone? It's a bit like rising, falling, or, and here um, I try to play it. Um, so maybe you heard. And uh, as I am not really the best in pronunciation, so 
uh, I think in one, my pronunciation, you don't maybe always hear it or it's uh, somehow, uh, yeah, uh, but I'll try my best. <laughs> and of course, maybe something to uh, say about it. It's not always that, that uh, even if I say that in the dictionary, this is smart, but uh, in this um, spoken language, of course, that if it's uh, what happens in the spoken language is not everything is there. That is uh, when you pr pronounce something in isolation. So it's not even that some words that you would expect this broken down. It's not always there. So, but but just that this is something about this um, Livonian, yeah, that how does Livonian sound and how it's pronounced. So, and uh, just to show you what I mean about. So here is a without this plain tone. It's just going up a bit. So see it, see it. So I am eating or she he is eating. This means and tie it, tie it. So here it comes down a bit. So it starts from here and comes down. So this can be also seen. It's These are done by my colleagues and uh, by uh, Prat program. And we can see this, what is happening in the, uh, in when a person just say, uh, pronounces this word. And I promised you that I have one, I think I, oh, I have one more here. Um, so, and here, what else can happen sometimes with this broken tone that it is sometimes accompanied by so-called languidization or something here. So let's see whether you uh, hear it. So the word is uh, leaf. Oi, sorry. Um, liet. Liet. So I think this is this kind of uh, clear liet, liet. So uh, how it goes up and comes down again. So liet. Okay. So this much about this uh, pronunciation. And uh, now I would uh, move on to uh, something about uh, uh, cases and number. So let's take our randa as this is very important for, uh, for Livonians for sure. Uh, so um, here, these are the most, let's say, like productive cases or you have <clears throat> nominative, genitive, dative, partitive, instrumental, illative, inessive, relative. So actually eight productive cases that you can, where you, there are some more, but these are not always, um, well, they are not given as uh, this um, in the full paradigm or not, you cannot form it from all the words. And uh, just if to compare with some other close cognate languages like Estonian or Finnish, so we can see that Livonian is actually, there are less cases than in, um, in these cognate languages. And uh, of course, like even here you can see, it's not actually always, it depends a bit like also on the description, how many cases uh, we, we just consider there to be. Uh, so uh, it's not always that clear even. But so this uh, other, relations are just then expressed by using uh, postpositions or prepositions. And what is maybe interesting about the uh, uh, Finnic languages uh, here or, uh, is that uh, if uh, this Uralic language is spoken in the East, uh, they only have postpositions. So uh, in this, uh, not only Livonian, but all other Finnic languages also contain prepositions. So we can have both um, uh, depending and it really can, uh, be in that sense that it's, uh, it differs what case it is used with or what uh, what meaning it even has. So here is one example. So uh, for the uh, preposition and postposition for first. So in the text we have this jets boik. So before the lighthouse. But if I would uh, change it boik jets, so something is uh, in front of the lighthouse. So. Uh, also in English, there is we can have different words here. So, and uh, so we could also say that again, uh, maybe a, to compare a bit uh, with uh, this uh, cognate languages. So, what is then maybe missing in Livonian, or what is not used that often? So, what Livonian or what actually in Estonian and in Finnish uh, we have is, is that uh, we have uh, this so-called uh, internal local cases when you go uh, into somewhere you are inside somewhere you go from there or you go on top of somewhere so here it means on top of the uh, table you are on top of the table and you come away from top of the table so this is something that in Livonian in the 20th century or even like nowadays it's not anymore really expressed with a 
case. So there, there have been these L cases as what is its marker, but now they have been um, uh, lost. So something is left uh, this kind of L uh, forms or uh, what is in Livo in Estonian. So these are still there with a, and in Livonian also that you can use it with a place names, but it's not this way. It doesn't really anymore belong to this case paradigm because you just don't use it. You just uh, uh, say the same thing with a postposition. So lodapal, lodapal, lodapal just. And something else, what is common, what happens then? So even here, these are actually the same. So you see that they have just become similar, and they have how they how something even starts vanishing from the language, or how that here we have this LT already here. So like here LT, but again that you don't maybe even see or analyze it anymore as this uh, older case, but you just uh, add here something you know, so you you have had it so it's a bit like double marking so that there was already this from somewhere but just that you it has been uh, somehow uh, that you don't, you don't see it anymore as being part of this and um, something else so this uh, nominative or genitive or this genitive that we use for let's say if i want to say that uh, my car or something then uh, actually in uh, livonian we can see that here also these words, they are totally the same in these two case forms, but uh, there are some, why this is still given as a case is that there are still uh, forms where uh, the difference can be made. So, and there are quite some, quite some, but just this Randa is where nominative and genitive forms are exactly the same. So something about this. Okay, and now maybe I thought just to come back for our text, so maybe, Again, uh, we know now, just that, as I want you to remember something, so maybe now we can analyze it a bit more even. So we can now see that it's this blue, this is plural marking, so te uh, refers to plural. We have this yet boik I had, so it was before Kualkas uh, lighthouse. Uh, so here it is uh, rand, so this uh, rand, uh, uh, this is only uh, we use this very uh, again this uh, strong and weak form uh, change so here it is in the uh, partitive or this partitive is this kind of object case it just has it's why it's called so it has uh, yeah, long traditions and uh, 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 but it can be used also in other a bit more wider meaning it's not only maybe in this object it also gives sometimes this kind of partial meaning and has its background in the Uralic languages but but also it's this uh, to where or to the coast. So it has this meaning. So here this to the coast or uh, as an object. And here again, some plural forms. So there are, and also this uh, here, so some plural forms. And this dux form here means with, so we have already with cows. And uh, so we already know more pal, uh, so more pal, more was ground, or so actually here we already understand something that uh, with the cows to the land, and something is in the uh, uh, in the coast or in the beach, or and uh, here we also had in the previous slide all, so uh, put all, so under the trees, so post position here, and um, yeah, so just that actually we can see that. The, um, maybe uh, finding this first or recognizing the first uh, words from uh, from a text is not maybe that hard at all. If uh, if you go like this, or it's you can already maybe memorize something. And I think especially you who uh, are very fast at or solving. I think this is also a bit like a ling linguistic uh, problem. But let's move on. Let's also look at these um, uh, verbs. So what is happening in the verbs and how this uh, pronouns? So, um, uh, so here, uh, how to say like, uh, there are two forms. There is like a, uh, for some pronouns, there's a short form and a longer form. So, uh, mina, ma, sina, sa, tama, ta, meek, teek, nemad. Uh, so, and here we have, uh, uh, okay, there is something in the chat. Uh -huh, there was a question. Um, uh, okay, so that uh, there is, um, um, and what is uh, happening here? So we see that in this uh, 
rökandub, so this is to speak word, so that mina rökandub liivukeeld, so I speak Livonian, and tema ta rökandub liivukeeld, so this forms are exactly the same in this, so this, there is no, the personal endings are the same, but here also, so that where it differs in this other person, so sina rökandub liivukeeld, me rökandub liivukeeld, te rökandub liivukeeld, nämad, ne rökandubud liivukeeld. And I chose another verb that was also in the text, so that we need today is lab to go. So mina ma lab makkam, so I go to sleep, or you can also use it with, so it's like an infinitive form. Sina sa lab makkam, tema ta lab makkam, meeg lääma makkam, teeg lääta makkam, nämad ne läbad makkam. So here, these are then the forms, and maybe if you compare a bit with the Latvian, so in Latvian, what is, so there is actually the third person singular and third person plural are the same, or, and here, that they don't differ in the form, but here in Livonian, there is third person singular and first person singular are the same. And here we also, I just added this uh, to be verb because as often it is the case that these words that we need the most or they are actually the uh, irregular ones. So otherwise I would say that uh, everything uh, goes uh, like by the rule, but here this world uh, or to be is a bit different. So ma um, sa uod, ma um, ta um, me kuom, te kuot, ne aat, ne aat, and just uh, why we maybe need it. So, for example, to say uh, that this, again, that this, these were um, in this uh, opening video, they, they were showing, uh, it was also, there was a, a very nice clip about it when uh, uh, there was like this with the spies and the uh, grandmother singing in Livonian, actually, it was uh, for me also very nice to listen. And uh, how to say in Livonian, like what it is then, so, uh, we could say seum surkak. So this is, uh, and sur we already know, it's big, and kak is just, well, maybe call it bun or whatever, like a bun or what it uh, here means, uh, or I don't even know what would be the best, but basically this is what is on the picture. So seum surkak. And, um, and how to say this is heart, so seum sidam. And maybe one uh, place where pr probably you don't actually hear this uh, broken tone or it's, uh, yeah, this is one place that just in speech it goes past. Anyways, um, okay, and uh, let's also um, move on. Okay, and here um, also this was about uh, then how to say that uh, in the affirmative, but then in the negative, so the same word that if you yet don't sp speak Livonian, but I think at the end of the lecture you do. Uh, so at the moment you can, can so I allow you still to say, uh, mina äbrökand liivukeeld, uh, but at the end of the lecture you should already say that you speak a bit. Uh, but yeah, so uh, what is um, in this, uh, happening in the past forms. So there is, uh, you see a bit that, okay, this app uh, uh, is used in most of the persons, but in the second person, there is some of this T element still present. So that there is this kind of, uh, um, that this uh, negative verb uh, conjugates a bit so that, and maybe just to compare here uh, with uh, a Finnish where they have like nothing is, let's say that, uh, in all each person, you have a different ending. So in, in, in Livonian, you get, let's say here, three different ends, endings, but uh, so you don't have the full paradigm, but at least there is something. For example, in, in Estonian, there is nothing. There is only one A and that that's it in all the persons, but in Livonian is somewhere in the middle uh, that it has some change in this negative form. And uh, what is uh, also known about this, uh, 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 Finnic languages or what is common about this is that uh, uh, you don't uh, add, you just use the root when you say you don't do. So, uh, rükkand, 
so uh, Rukkand is the root, so these are the endings here, and you just use it. And uh, but again, how to say that Livonian is something in the middle that uh, uh, in the uh, uh, plural forms it still has this ending. So uh, for plural, you, you see that the same is used here. So make Rukkandam Livukeld, we speak Livonian, make and it's it's called this kind of um, uh, symmetric negation. So the negation uh, differs only uh, for this uh, app form there. But again, there is something that uh, you uh, hear that something is still less than is there in the affirmative. And often it is that in the present tense or affirmative, you get the most distinctions. And the same here with this uh, lad. So Mina ma apla makam. So um, and uh, sina uh, at, uh, atla makam. Tama apla makam. Ne apla makam. Te apla makam. Ne apla makam. So you can again uh, at the moment in your classrooms or wherever you are, you can say whatever is going to happen to you soon. So are you going to bed soon or not? Uh, so. And uh, just to practice. And uh, here I thought, now we can actually say quite many things. So I thought I would say a few things about uh, uh, myself. Uh, so, Mina um Mina. And yes, this is this funny way I even notice it myself that indeed my name is Mina, and it's just the length where is this uh, difference here. But Mina um Mina. Uh, Ma um Estli. And I noticed that there is this long A here missing. So I am Estonian. Uh, uh, I am not uh, Livonian so, or this coastal uh, person. And, uh, and here, um, mm, okay, and Ma Rukkand, Eesti, English, Ungar, Saksa, Kriev, Liivukeld, Jaga, Lekkeld. So now you could think a bit. Uh, uh, like which of these, uh, what languages they could be, and maybe you recognize uh, your own. And even I didn't want to lie about myself, so I didn't uh, include all our working languages and uh, and uh, so on. Actually, uh, some languages are also missing from the list because, of course, uh, even I don't know like how to say all these uh, languages in uh, Livonian. But uh, but okay, so to go through, so English, uh, Hungary. Uh, or Hungarian. Uh, so Saxa is, uh, I think Germans are always very uh, happy when they recognize this Saxa or because it's this Saxon, so it comes from there. So here Kriev is Russian, uh, then well, Liv and Letkiel, so Letmo we had, so it's Latvian. And uh, yeah, and uh, I chose to say that Ma vel at Lamakum, so not yet, or this veil means yet, I don't go to sleep or bed yet. See pärast, ku minun um päägin tiede. Because minun, I, so it is mina, and it's dative form, like on me or uh, to me, or uh, is a lot work. So after this lecture as well, I'm supposed to create your work. So I'm taking a break at the moment. Uh, but uh, yeah, so this is, um, these are something and you can see that actually we are already getting somewhere. And yeah, this uh, maybe something to uh, say about just this pronoun difference so that uh, like when to use uh, one or the other, it's of course often this time of introducing something or also contrasting. So in contrast, maybe something, it is more that you go for this uh, longer ones, but, uh, but these are all these tendencies. This is not the rule, but, and the same is in Estonian also that we are uh, fine that, or with this uh, two pronouns, uh, this longer, shorter ones. And, uh, and uh, this is the same in here in Livonian. And uh, there is no other like, difference in that sense in this um, that one would be more polite or another at least in Estonian or Livonian okay and let's uh, just pick one other word verb to uh, also show what is happening in the past tense so and then we need it again for our text so just 
to grow big or cuss. So here to grow big to illustrate this. So ma kasab sa kasad ta kasab me kasam te kasad ne kasabad ja or this at kas at at kas so me kat kasam te kat kasat ne at kasat and maybe something that I would still want to comment is that. As uh, there is in this first person and the uh, third person, this uh, uh, the ending is the same, and actually the same ending, or just without, if you uh, leave the pronoun out, then you can also uh, express so called impersonal or passive voice. So actually, this, this uh, B forms have quite many meanings in Livonian, and for this reason also, uh, it is that. Uh, it, it's maybe that uh, although in Livonian you can um, also drop the pronoun because it is already here uh, expressed, but it's maybe a bit more tricky with these uh, few persons just because maybe it might be not always uh, understandable. And even if I have been reading some older texts, so sometimes it's not really, uh, you can just have to look for the context and it sometimes even remains a bit vague. Are we speaking? Uh, about a certain third person, or is it about just generalizes it, or uh, to the uh, like, a, or it's uh, generalized? So it's maybe not always that easy. So what happens when you don't uh, or have like different uh, forms for this? And uh, but just also to say for something about this uh, past tense. So how uh, this uh, in the past tense? This is um, we recognize it by. Yes, or actually this, there are also some verbs where uh, only e is present. So we often say that there are two um, and or uh, also that it's possible that it's only, there is also only palatalization. So there are several ways or what is this uh, marker of the past tense. But at the moment, let's stick only to this one verb. So it's ma uh, kasis, uh, sureks, I grew big. So um, to say it directly are sa kasis. Ta kasis suureks, me kasis ma suureks, ne kasis suureks, or, uh, and again, what you can maybe notice here, so what is happening here, so in Livonian, uh, you also, the negation verb, or, or, or negative verb, also changes in the past form, so actually it is, that this is a negative past, if I should have to say what it is, so this is a negative marker in the past, and here it's you see that these are the same so this is especially these are just the root and these are just that there is this personal ending added in the plural forms but what is where do we see the past is in the uh, in these forms and uh, maybe this is something again now different uh, when i said that uh, for example um, in uh, finnish uh, you can have all different forms here for this uh, but not, this is not the case for past tense in Finnish. Uh, so that, and it is not the case for Estonian either. So this, all this, in this cognate languages either, you don't, this close cognate languages, you don't, we have had it in Estonian dialects. So there has been something, but let's say it has, uh, it is there the best of, um, uh, present in, uh, in Livonian, this kind of uh, changing in the uh, past form. Okay, so let's now see this uh, uh, text again. So just why I also wanted to uh, show you is that, so we have here, we didn't uh, know any verbs before that. So now we have this app war. Um, this is now this um verb to be is, is not at casa, doesn't grow. And here I didn't speak about participles because then we cannot cover everything this uh, today, so we should have much uh, many more uh, lectures for this. But yeah, these are participles. But from this casa to grow to grow again. So, so at least at the moment with verbs, we didn't maybe evolve much, but at least something. And at the moment, I thought I will just uh, tell you what it is about the story, or uh, uh, because I think it's. Uh, um, uh, uh, just at this point where maybe we now know a bit more, but uh, this is uh, now how this uh, blue uh, cows came to be onto the Livonian coast. And the thing was that it was much about this uh, 
that uh, uh, so here we have uh, actually the mother of C or these are um, where do I find it so okay here um, or maybe I start just from the beginning that uh, uh, long ago before this uh, uh, Kualka lighthouse even this before that when that's, that was built uh, so this uh, coastline or coast was much, it looked much different. And then uh, uh, there were no, um, so these are this uh, sand, uh, this kind of sand pile, piles or uh, that are at the moment cover the uh, beach. Uh, so, but then uh, back in the old times, there were forests and this grew to the, uh, coast or to until actually totally to the sea or almost touched the sea and this um, and the trees were so big that you could make from one tree you could make a whole boat and then under the trees there was a very soft uh, and uh, grass and now this is an important figure that the mother of the sea uh, sent mermaids uh, to uh, hurt their, uh, this uh, like uh, the cows on the coast. So from the sea came to the uh, coast, uh, and uh, this happened so during the morning and uh, uh, very early, and during the daytime when there were no people in the uh, coast. And then uh, and uh, what is it about or how? Because these uh, cows when they or these mermaids came. To the coast with the sea so these uh, uh, cows were as blue as uh, uh, the sea and uh, what um, the story goes on but the whole point is this that uh, as it often <laughs> happens in this story so when it was time or uh, just that it was there was the need to go back then one of these cows stayed on the land and this is where all these uh, blue cows come from and actually, I don't know uh, Latvian, so maybe can confirm or so, but I have also, when I have been myself very many times uh, in Latvia and also in this uh, Kurland, so I would say indeed that these cows look a bit, uh, a bit blue there. So this is how the story of this, so when you at some point go there, or you can then see whether you, whether this story holds and whether these cows are a bit blue. And... Um, yeah, so, oh, sorry, it's started. Okay, and, uh, and uh, something uh, mm, what I also wanted to say, so we have a bit covered now this, what I wanted to say a bit, uh, just a bit about this uh, uh, very basic things in the volume, but, but also I would say that uh, as uh, we already heard in the beginning that uh, this, uh, uh, none of these languages are Latvian and uh, uh, Livonian, they have been in contact for a long, long time. And this also has, uh, uh, of course, have affected both languages. And But of course, it has uh, uh, had a, a stronger impact on Livonian because, of course, the uh, Latvians have always outnumbered Livonians and it has always been that uh, much, uh, much uh, uh, fewer of them. So, but something is even there that is claimed to be not only maybe uh, Livonian, but I have added here that Finnic in like in general, more general, so that, uh, for example, that the fact that in Latvian there is stress in the first syllable is said to be uh, like uh, more precisely or more like uh, this Finnic uh, influence or that in Finnic languages also we always have it on the first syllable where almost, uh, almost uh, not entirely, maybe 100%, but almost always. And uh, some of the words that actually Latvians have taken from uh, Livonian, or let's say that are also there in uh, uh, in uh, uh, Estonian, for example, here and in Finnish, this sen, sen, so sen, so max, uh, maxat. So this is uh, Latvian, this uh, second one, and vajak to need. And uh, what else? So there, uh, like this, um, are from in different levels. Uh, so that uh, there is also this. Uh, wider use of locative case. I wouldn't just go into this at the moment, but just that to say that, uh, that it can even affect grammar. So if there has been this, as there has been this uh, longer contact. And um, 
vice versa. So some examples, so something that the uh, uh, Livonian, so that uh, uh, there are, uh, they have added sometimes to their own words. So this is like a sporadic use. It's not always, and it's not compulsory, but you can hear that sometimes if uh, like Estonian person or, or is listening to uh, Livonian and doesn't understand something. So it's often the case that uh, it's um, something is there extra or something is uh, because of this Latvian influence there. So otherwise it would be more stop, more stop. So uh, to understand or, uh, Okay, this is actually uh, I or the third person, not uh, like uh, infinitive, uh, but it is possible to find that as in Latvian it's saprot, so that you also add this sa. And sometimes this sometimes just makes this uh, some of these Livonian words that maybe you don't recognize it right away, uh, but then when you are familiar with the language, then you see. And this is just how, how maybe one language is, and also the, when there are bilingual speakers, what they take and uh, to their own language or and uh, this is something and another example maybe for example uh, this uh, word uh, words uh, and uh, I just remember why I added this is that I remember reading uh, in uh, uh, like Ma Lab Passaul Pal and uh, it was then when I uh, hadn't learned any Latvian but uh, right away and when I uh, I have uh, yeah, studied uh, Latvian just because even to study or to research in Livonian because I think you cannot look into Livonian without also knowing some Latvian because as I show you that these languages are uh, still in contact and uh, influence one another so that then I could right away understand that okay this uh, person is uh, using instead of saying in uh, Livonian mo ilma which is like uh, the world uh, says uh, uh, Latvian passaule. And uh, again, that also, of course, it also affects this grammar. So one, uh, what is maybe just interesting and I've been feeling myself at the moment is this how to express comparison that uh, uh, someone, uh, for example, uh, older than you, I am older than you. Uh, so uh, here is uh, in uh, Latvian, there is neka, which, which means like not, not than. And exactly there at, we already know, this is this negative verb and then. So, you are vana at kusina, so older than you. But for example, if I show it in Estonian, so pui, there is no neg negative uh, form here, no negation, so no app. So it copies this uh, pattern uh, here. And the, another thing where it copies, so still for the Finnic languages in general, it's common that you still use this uh, some kind of uh, marker or this uh, comparative marker here, but here it's uh, with a UA construction and it stays in the nominative form. So just that how it uh, builds this construction. And I think uh, here it is, and uh, this is exactly what I'm maybe very much interested in and how this, uh, what, what changes are uh, under this context and we, when these uh, different uh, languages uh, meet. Um, and especially when they are uh, from, totally different even language families. So what and what stays the same or even what stays this kind of, retains its Uralic background and uh, and what changes. And uh, yeah, and this just to, again, this uh, map was there, but, uh, but uh, yeah, the, one of these reasons so that there are this, also in Lat uh, uh, Latvian dialectology, they speak about Livonian-like dialects. So this was also that, these are exactly these areas where Livonians uh, have lived. And, um, and here uh, I would now finally uh, come to this uh, maybe, uh, let's say current, current situation a bit look like um, or tell you what is going on at the moment and uh, um, of course I cannot give you like an uh, entire picture but at least something and uh, where I'm myself involved and I thought it's a bit like uh, uh, looking from the lighthouse to this coast so just that what is uh, going on so so this is actually another village so pisa boy so we heard in the text about Kualka boy so this pisa is actually where i took this picture is indeed uh, so this is made from the uh, this uh, lighthouse and this picture is taken from the, there and um, so here for example you can also uh, take a look at yourself but uh, there is a uh, 
uh, in the internet, there's so-called Livones net. So it's in uh, Latvian, Livonian and English. And it's about, uh, there is uh, about, you can um, read about Livonian culture, language, history, um, like uh, there are pictures. Uh, so this page at the moment, I copied it in Livonian and, uh, but you can look it up in the, another language. So there actually comes uh, every day like a word in uh, like is this the, the word of the day or so here it was just I picked it because there was this quota it's like a house or and we had this rob quota or this community house what is an important building in this coast and these are sometimes some place names Salmut or and uh, and they but yeah here they have it and it, these come from the dictionary and the dictionary is in Estonian, there is a dictionary of Estonian, Livonian, uh, Latvian, or this three language di uh, dictionary. And then uh, there is also one uh, like Facebook group that is called Livokiel, so Livonian language. And uh, again, there are this uh, um, like the word of the day or um, not the word of the day. Actually, these posts there appear not every day, but uh, once a while, I think, or maybe not every day, but quite often. So. But again, here we also have it in English. So this Rob uh, and we already had this actually on the first slide. So when I was showing you this picture about uh, Livonians uh, in the 1930s, so so here, and they are using, as I uh, said, that uh, they are using this orthography, this uh, uh, where this all this uh, lower O's and this uh, uh, stirred or this broken tone are not marked and uh, and. Uh, so here um, it is, but but uh, how it's written or forms, and uh, uh, there are also uh, and maybe I just like this. Uh, um, as I said, there are not many, very many uh, those who actually speak Livonian uh, to some extent. But I think there was very nice that there are twenty speakers, but three poets writing in Livonian. So that you can still that there appears poetry again from those who are uh, from um, this Livonian ancestry or somehow related to this and this is one uh, collection and actually it is uh, even uh, uh, yes a collection of Livonian poetry and you can even find the poetry book uh, where it's uh, Livonian and with the uh, English translations and then uh, there are of course this, uh, some uh, some choirs or and these are Livot, uh, Pivot, so Livonian like holidays or this uh, happen in August uh, on the coast so uh, near this where they have this community also again this kind of uh, celebrations and uh, where people from who have this background can gather there and uh, these are like uh, uh, important uh, 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 or is is important event so so uh, there are still those like uh, people who um, yeah uh, care about this and uh, want to preserve it and uh, I also uh, and something uh, what is also important is that in uh, under this uh, Latvian uh, uh, university there is a Leavitt Institute and uh, it was established. Uh, a few years ago and they have also um, had uh, or they have been carrying out several projects and one of these is that it uh, uh, so sing along and learn a Livonian language so there was just this project so they have had several projects also uh, there are uh, you can find in the internet like seven lessons of Livonian and uh, and so you know, there are um, it there are this kind of <laughs> Uh, nice uh, ways how to bring it to the people and I thought that we could uh, uh, also uh, listen to this uh, song because again I would say that we already know quite uh, many words from there so uh, it's about Uomagum so Uomag was morning it is morning and again let's just check one some words we don't even need but it's about so Pava is a day but it's also the sun so there are birds are singing. So just that the day is rising, birds are singing. So it is morning, it is morning or morning is here, morning is here. So you have to wash your, have to wash your eyes, uh, have to wash your, uh, have to comb your hair and it is morning, it is morning. And now the, it is, there, it's neat, this must, it, it expresses like necessity or need. 
now you need to study, you need to start to play, and it, now it's already uh, it's daytime. That it is the day. So and then just list all these uh, different parts of the day. So morning, day, uh, night, and um, uh, 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 evening and night. And uh, then here it has. Uh, um, so now we are reaching to the next part of the day. So uh, this um, it is getting dark. So the, the uh, sun uh, sets. Now it is uh, evening. Uh, so mother. So we know Yemakel. We had Isamo. So mother uh, goes to bed and father goes to bed or to sleep. And uh, I already sleep. So ma mago. And it is night, yeah, um you. so yeah, it's night. And so mo ilma we know, so it was in Latvian Passaule, so in the old world, so we, um, everyone is asleep, so it's, it is night. And now again, list this uh, parts of the day, and then comes morning again. So again, birds are singing, and uh, again, I uh, will be awake and yeah, but let's also listen to this. It should come here with the words as well. So you can all sing along. Oh, my 
I think that at least this um, you have memorized for sure. Okay, so let's see how I get. Okay, now let's see whether I can get to the yes, have uh, this. Uh, and I also wanted to show that uh, sometimes uh, you can in this coast even notice, uh, or when going to these places, uh, that at least in this Kualka that has been, I wanted to show it once more, this, uh, well, uh, that it is even here written in Livonian, so this Kualka Nana, so it's like a nose, and here you see, so here it's a bit. A different way it was like nice winter and when we went there and uh, yeah but has this nice meaning so it's really really like a nose or a horn and uh, uh -huh. and i just wanted to say that what else is uh, happening uh, on the coast so that there is uh, this um, uh, 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 like a summer school so leave at laps the north self school either uh, annually so or almost annually or has been organized that uh, uh, where again that uh, those with livonian heritage or have this possibility to learn and here is like app and know what they are uh, probably they are having some kind of quiz and uh, i myself or where i am involved so actually i am soon also traveling there, so I'm to this coast, so actually near to Ventspils, so because next week uh, already we have a third Livonian summer university, which is for university students, and uh, well, there have been like people from, usually from Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland, um, Germany, hung uh, Hungary maybe, and some other so uh, countries, so, and should now take place also, but not, uh, yeah, so that they are not too many uh, people. So we see that there is some maybe uh, 30, 40 uh, places. So, and um, yeah, so, so it is cool. Uh, so there is different things are still like happening or like who are interested and uh, have these chances. And, uh, and uh, even if it is uh, like language maybe that, uh, that uh, are not it's not in this uh, everyday used everywhere so at least it is uh, this that maybe is with you or you can have uh, several uh, languages uh, with you and i thought actually that uh, it would be very nice to end with a, a very nice uh, poem about uh, 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 mother th tongue because i think uh, here at the olympiad we are also maybe a bit more thinking about uh, languages and also be it a bigger one or a smaller one in terms of numbers but it uh, uh, and i think it uh, this uh, poem is uh, um, very nice or it says what does it say about this uh, livonians uh, so it is one uh, of uh, like a livonian who has uh, written this poem uh, himself so uh, like this uh, feelings about her mother tongue. So for, after we will listen to it, but let's also translate it. And I would like to know, uh, show you here that uh, um, it's uh, here. You can already. We have had quite many words, and maybe one important word that we don't know is this to love. So here is this armaste, uh, uh, ma arm, armaste. So armaste is to love, and uh, so it's. Uh, uh, this uh, Livonian or this coastal language, my uh, mother language, uh, holy 
to me is your voice who can uh, or uh, forget uh, the Livonian language also forgets uh, uh, his or her mother's word uh, in uh, Livonian or uh, like let's say in Livonian we're speaking old Livonians Livonians so this coastal people uh, in Livonian let's say that they were uh, uh, singing their songs uh, and they were uh, praying God so Jumal in Livonian and uh, and then Randa Kiel the Rukandum. So here it's this that we are speaking Livonian. So remember this Rukand. So it's this past and present form because we love. And uh, so we are as our fathers, uh, Livonians, as strong uh, as strong as stones. But let's listen to this because I know I think it's uh, somehow very lovely lady who is uh, reading it and it's uh, from Estonian uh, one uh, movie it's uh, on the Livonian coast so it's uh, in Estonian or has uh, uh, shows all for uh, this uh, all this coast and I think it's from there so let's just listen how it actually sounds so Randa keel min jama keel piva min num sinel Kis või branda kiel on uno kain siemastun. Randa kiel de rukandis vanad liivad randalis. Randa kiel so lolad lolis, randa kiel so jumalt soolis. Randa kiel de rukandum sieperas jo armastun. Volma sellis kui med isas, liivad neiku kivid visas. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, I think... Um, my wish for you is uh, also that uh, with this uh, Olympiad, uh, that um, you would also uh, cherish uh, different uh, languages and uh, your mother tongue. And, uh, sorry, Surtjanu, uh, uh, thank you. And uh, now, if uh, someone has questions, I understand that we have uh, some time. So, and uh, this can be. Uh, forwarded in YouTube and so copied uh, to chat for me and uh, yeah so thank you a lot. There is a... uh -huh. Okay, I will just um, stop sharing. And, um...